It's a bit like gluing meat to your face. <laughs> you know? It's probably not really helping that, is it? <laughs> what? No, you glue meat to your face, people think you're mental, don't they? think you're an absolute nutter, you glue meat to your face, you know? You get the meat there, like, and you think, mm, lovely bit of meat there, stick it on. <laughs> glue it up nice, put it on the face. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> people just go, meat on the face, move away, move away. <laughs> He's a little bit weird. Move away, meat on the face, you know. That young man appears to have meat on his face. Oh, he has meat on his... These are just some of the responses. You, I probably didn't need to give that many reactions to the meat on the face. In your head, you could probably think, oh, that's what it's like to have meat on the face. I didn't, probably didn't need to create this bizarre village of... Beer. I say, that young man appears to have meat on his face. Sheriff, come quickly, there's a crazy man. He blew a meat to his face. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> Is that meat on his face? I thought it was. <laughs> that, that, that was a bloke on a bicycle there, just so you... <laughs> just a bloke with a bit of an odd walk there. <laughs> just carrying an iron bar. <laughs> <laughs> is that meat on his face over there? Yes, it is. Oh, very good. Poof. <laughs> What's that for? We're only commenting on the meat on the face. There's no need to smash us in the face with an iron bar. I do apologise, I can't help myself. <laughs> anyway, the point is... You've glued the meat to the face. And P.O. there, meat on P.O. You know, weirdo, you know. But you don't know, you've got to look at it from the other side. That person might just be trying to ward off the advances of an amorous vegan. There's two sides to every story, you know. Over there, like that, vegan turns up. Oh, come on. You know, want some hot lentil loving? <laughs> oh, there, like that, going, oh, no. Oh, the, the, the vegan's back. What am I going to do? Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. Give us that meat. I've got a brilliant idea. <laughs> meat on the face. You're not my type. <laughs> you'll be there like that, just going, whoo, got out of that one. <laughs> Probably best not to wipe your face if you've <laughs> just glued meat to your face. That's, it's not really going to work, that, is it? You're essentially just wiping the meat. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's, uh, mm, the, what you'd have to do is lift the meat first, like that, <laughs> and, and then wipe. And replace. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what you should do is just, when you're gluing the meat, just glue it along the top there. <laughs> just so you sort of create like a, a, like a meat hinge. Like that, and then just put it there on the face and then just lift it up like that. <laughs> Got out of that one! And then, you know, and then replace it. The, the meat will actually probably just, as you lift it like that, you just lift and it'll probably just fall back itself. <laughs> If you glue it right, you have to get the hinge right. But if you get it just in the right... So this, by the way, there is a fact sheet at the door. <laughs> Everything I talk about here, uh, if you want to learn how to make special meat hinges, and just that's all you do. And then, hey. You'd probably be better, actually, just putting the, the glue along the top of the meat there and then placing it on the forehead. That'll give you more of a drop when you just... <laughs> and then he's down. <laughs> More of a, hey. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could get a piece of string and just attach it to the meat there and then just run it over the top and then just down the back. <laughs> and then you could just pull like that. <laughs> the, the, uh, you pro probably, I did that, I pushed the string up. You don't have to do that. That's the beauty of the meat hanging longer. You just pull like that and then wipe and then hum. <laughs> if you want it to stay up, you're going to need a little cleat just on there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You'll get one from like a sailing shop, something like that, do you know what I mean? Just, just pull the meat like that and then fasten off the cleat <laughs> and then you can walk around all day with it, you know. <laughs> you know, like that, you know.